Hi, everybody. Laura and Brooke here. Welcome to Lawyering Outside the Lines this Tuesday. We're going to continue with our conversation about virtual law firms by diving a bit deeper into the core aspects of technology, basically, of delivering services through the client portal and other software used by virtual law firm attorneys. So the client portal is the cornerstone of a virtual law firm. Um, it is really how you communicate with and deliver services like advice and documents to your clients. Most of your practice management systems are actually going to have a client portal capability, the big main ones do. Um, but we also know from personal experience that most attorneys actually don't utilize that tool, um, which is fascinating to me. Uh, even if they have that practice management software. So advantages for you include, to use it, include having all communications in one place, easily accessible, you and the client. In a cloud environment, instead of having to hunt through emails um, and phone messages, which you may not even be writing down notes about your phone conversations, you know, you should, but for what, whatever you need or whatever it is you're looking for. Um, and also, you know, it really reduces, you know, clients, reaching out for repetitive questions, they can go back and also look through your conversation. Um, and yeah, it, it may be true that virtual law firms may work best with a tr like more transactional practice, transactional practice areas, but even a litigation firm can use a virtual law firm model to heavily integrate the practical aspects of representation to their clients. So some of the things that you can do, and we, we do have litigation-based services. We also provide family law services here. So we do have litigation-based services as well. And there are some things that you can do. So you can intake forms and um, have you know, general Q&As shared electronically. Pleadings, you can send those out for signature or review. Um, trial or hearing prep documentation, you can do that there. And all non-in-person communication can be conducted through a client portal. Another software tool is uh, e-scheduling. And using a web-based booking calendar is, you know, kind of like we talked about the web with the website last week. It's one of the first ways that a client is communicating with their virtual attorney. So they found you on your fancy website, but then they want to talk to you. And what's the easiest way for them to do that? In our opinion, the easiest way to do that is to have some type of link for a, a cloud-based booking calendar for them to sign up for that chat with you. It sets the tone for your representation, that ease of working with your attorney, attorney and that's really paramount um, to the virtual law firm experience for both the attorney and the client, that ease of, of working with each other. And you, you know, with the booking link, you could just click, a, click the button and set an appointment for that consultation. It's super easy. There are also other softwares, you know, virtual law firms, you know, by definition, use a lot of technology, but the two that we mentioned there are kind of the big ones, but you're going to have other small software uh, needs like e-signature, electronic payments, uh, online surveys, you know, those types of things. And, you know, you can always reach out to us, Brooke or me, and we can talk about all the details of the different technologies that we use, but those are kind of the main ones that we do. Uh, other tools that we use for like automation and things like that. They're ones that any attorney could use. We heavily utilize them as a virtual limited scope law firm uh, using the automation tools for our documentation and everything, but it's not necessarily, you know, defining as a virtual law firm. It's something that I think everybody should use. So, uh, so those are, those are kind of some of the other software pieces. Yeah. And also to add to on the e-scheduling, e um, for me, what I found, I mean, because we all hate the back and forth, so it really eliminates that um, back and forth of trying to set a point. We use several calendars for all the different things that we do, whether we're talking to attorneys or clients or just some kind of internal thing. We have multiple calendars. Um, but another reason I really like it is because it can also, not only can they sign up directly, it takes you out of it, but um, we've had an answering service from day one. Um, and it's really easy for us to just provide our attorney calendars to them so that they can get get people booked on our calendar too. So it really cuts down a lot of those administrative tasks in getting people scheduled. Because if you really sit down and think about it, you spend a lot of time doing that. And it's, it's maddening to go back and forth um, for scheduling. So that's been one, uh, we talk a lot about boundaries and managing our time, but that's been one really great way, a very simple tool to implement, to be able to, you know, take some of our time back. So um, there's so much more on client portals and e-scheduling. Like Laura said, we just kind of want to give you a taste of it today. 
Um, but definitely, you know, if you're getting started, if you're transitioning over, check out client portals, look at some of your, you know, e-calendaring options. Um, let us know if you have any questions. We'll be here next week at 1 Eastern, noon Central, 11 Mountain and 10 Pacific time. And thanks for joining us. Hope you guys have a great week.